I just wrapped up an employee listening session with a global organization who courageously provided a place and an avenue for employees to share their stories and personal experiences about the recent tragedies that have unfolded in the Israel and Gaza region. But what I took away from those really poignant stories was the similarity between what employees are asking for right now, what they need for support, what they want for support. There are many similarities to what employees asked for back in 2020. What goes along with that is the concern that I have for organizations who have pulled back on their DEI efforts because we have to sustain the practices that create inclusive, respectful, and diverse organizations. We can't afford to pull back on those. We need them right now. And the fact that employees today are having to ask for very similar things that they asked for back in 2020, it shows me that we still have work to do. It shows me that we still need reminders. It takes consistency to sustain a culture of inclusion and belonging and safety. And so when we pull back on the resources, when we pull back on the infrastructure, on the communication, the, the tools that are needed to support and, and sustain a culture of care, then we are putting our organizations at risk. We are not creating a place for employees to thrive and to do their best work. Because if an employee is concerned about their safety and their well-being, or if an employee has to cover and hide their identities in order to be taken seriously in the workplace, then we likely are not getting the best out of those employees. And when organizations don't get the best out of their employees, their customers are impacted. The community is impacted. We are not innovating. We are not better problem solvers if we are having to worry about our safety, if we are worried and um, our mind share is consumed by the well-being of people who are a part of our communities. And so I want to challenge those organizations who have decided to pull back on DEI. Now is not the time. There never is a time to pull back on DEI. If there's never a time that you're going to pull back on your marketing efforts or managing the finances and P&L of your organization, then there can never be a time that you are not investing in the culture that you create and sustain. There can never be a time that you are not investing in the growth and the development and support of your people. I want to share a resource that we recently uh, launched just a couple of weeks ago, and it's an episode on our 24 Karis podcast show, and it's about trauma that comes from hate, racism, and other isms in society. We actually filmed this podcast series before the events unfolded in Israel and Gaza, but I believe that the conversation is very relevant to what's happening today. So I'm happy that we're able to provide the resource to you in the form of the 24 Karis episode series, but I also want to offer Karis to you, to those organizations who are serious about building cultures of care. We'd love to talk with you and we can certainly help you do that. But whether you work with Karis or not, you cannot pull back on DEI. We have to remember what it takes to demonstrate care, respect, and empathy to every single person every single day.